ever, ever, top five dead or alive. Caviar. I'm your host, Tony, in the Empire of Caviar Studios. Coming at you live with another episode of Pod Caviar. Hold on. Let me just mute that. I can hear the music in the background. I'm going to mute it and then unmute it before I render the this episode. But I do have the window open, so not only will you hear my lovely radio voice, you'll also hear the, the sounds of Los Angeles in the background. I wanted to move downtown, and I almost did, but um, I don't think that's going to happen right now. I could have had, there was a, there's a place downtown, they dropped the rent because of COVID, and the rent that they dropped it to was like the same rent that I pay where I'm at now, which is uh, unbelievably expensive, but the only difference is it was downtown, and it had a Whole Foods on the bottom floor. Listen, I love living in L.A. I really want to live downtown. That's like my spot. If not, then somewhere near the beach. And by near the like I'm near the beach now. It's 30 minutes away. But when I say near the beach, I mean like maybe a block away. Maybe a couple feet away. Something like that. But I got some more work to do financially because it's not cheap to live out in Los Angeles. But of course, you know that as you hear the sirens and the fire trucks and the, the ambulance or something in the background. Listen, this is live. All right. This is a live record. I'm not even going to try to edit that out. I mean, it's just I'm in L.A. What do you expect? You're going to hear something. It would be even out if I was downtown. Right. So one day that's the goal. Get a place is as either downtown and I can record. I, I need to have a balcony. So I can record these podcasts outside so you can, I can get fresh air. You can hear if I'm on the beach, you can hear the wave, the Pacific Ocean in the background. You know, just imagine that. Imagine that it'll be like an AMSR podcast. So you can see. Go look after this podcast, go to YouTube, look up the intro video for Final Fantasy VIII. In the first like 10, 15 seconds, maybe that's that. Now imagine that in the background, instead of music, you hear whoosh, Pacific Ocean whoosh, waves. That's what I want to do, but that's not what this podcast is about. Today, we are starting season six, and I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be more of a uh, motivational season, I guess. I don't know. Let's try it for five episodes, and if it doesn't really get traction in five episodes, then we definitely have to try something else. But I think it's going to be okay. This first episode is about the uh, what I call the uh, immediate change mindset. Is that what I put on um, Facebook? Hold on. Yeah, the, <laughs> the immediate change mindset. Next episode, season six, signed PC. The PC stands for Podcast VR. Of course. Um, I got some football going on in the background. Hold on. More sirens. Oh my God. I just dropped my damn iPad. Uh, this is like my, I, I was more prepared for my very first episode than I am with this one for some reason, but okay. So 
I got the game going on here. If something happens amazing, I might just stop what I'm saying to like keep everybody up to date. Uh, so far, the damn Dallas Cowboys are using their third string quarterback because the Washington football shithole team decided to take a cheap shot against Andy Dalton, knocking him out of the game, knocking his helmet off and him out of the game because those guys are so tough in, in Washington. I hate that city and I hate that fucking team. Shithole all around. Baltimore is way better. Okay, just going to throw that out there. Baltimore is way better. Okay, it is. And that's not even up for discussion or whatever. It's not up for debate, discussion. The Washington franchise should probably just burn down because that's how bad of a franchise they are. First, they, they, they flat out spit in the face of Native Americans. And then you got these guys that are so tough, they need to take cheap shots on quarterbacks when they're sliding, when they know that that's not what you're supposed to do. Wow, you guys are so awesome. Nobody talks about the shithole Washington franchise when they talk about the NFL, okay? People hate the Cowboys because the Cowboys are America's team. Five Super Bowl wins, it's kind of hard to ignore. And everybody says, oh, it's back in the 90s, back in the 90s, back in the 90s. I don't give a fuck, it's five trophies. What, what do you? They don't expire. They're not cartons of milk. They didn't go to the dairy farm. Like, what are you talking about? If it was your favorite team, you wouldn't shut up about it either. So why even talk? Why even be mad? We cowgirls, this cowgirls, that. Like, I've heard all the jokes. Shut the fuck up. My backup team is the Ravens. So if the Cowboys are having a bad season this season, we lean towards the Ravens. And I get that. Because normally people are like, oh, you can only have one team. Ah, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. I, when I was growing up, we didn't have the Ravens, okay? Because the bitch-ass Colts left in the middle of the night like some fucking cowards. So I'll never cheer for the Colts. And I'll never cheer for that shithole Washington franchise either. It's either going to be the Ravens or the Cowboys. And that's it. I like this. I like Russell Wilson too. So you know, I don't like love the Seahawks, but I don't hate them either. I mean, they got a pretty good team. I mean, they got the fucking thing going on. They got the system. They got the West Coast system, not like the West Coast football system, but they're like their system works very well, almost like how New England system worked with Brady, um, uh, how the um, the Steelers system works with Ben. Um, it's just that I wish that the Cowboys had that. The Ravens have it. They have their system, too, but the Cowboys are just like, hey, man, we got all these good players, but, you know, we just don't give a fuck. So, whatever. Fuck them, too. Anyway, the immediate immediate change mindset is a is a, uh, a theory, is something that I do, something that I developed in myself. It's like when you need to make a change within yourself, why drag your feet? If you decide that you want to stop saying something, if you want to, for, for instance, I wanted to become a better speaker. When I first started Game Caviar on YouTube, the uh, the foundation of that was, um, and this was 10 years ago, actually. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. But I, my first video was a, um, what is it? Uh, fuck, what was it? It was a speech class for college. Damn. <laughs> and then the fucking Carolina just tried a 65-yard field goal, and the kicker barely missed it. It was like two feet away from making it. But... When I made my first video 10 years ago, it was a lot of stuttering. It was a lot of, um, it was a lot of this. It was a lot of that. I wasn't able to flow as good as I flow now. And I know that I still say, um, here and there. I just said it a couple seconds ago, but there's a difference between having many flowing sentences with an, um, here and there, as opposed to how I was 10 years ago when it was mostly ums with some sort of sen sentence or some sort of, um, see, there it is again, some sort of message being portrayed or delivered. And that was the, the exact opposite. Well, how do you do that? Well, I had to do what was called the immediate change mindset. And what that means is I make a decision to change something within myself and I immediately start working to implement it. It's not hard. It may be hard at first, but if you are committed to yourself, if you're committed to being a better person, if you're committed to becoming a better version of yourself, then it's not hard at all. What are some of the things that I've changed? I've changed uh, my diet. 
I have changed speaking. I've become more uh, quicker on my feet. I've changed certain words that I use or that I've noticed that I've used too much. Instead of saying to, T-O-O, so much, I've switched to an, an, uh, as well. I've started saying that. I still say to, quote unquote, T-O-O, but it's declined greatly. And I'm happy about that because I was saying, it was like I was saying the number two and then the two as well. And the two isn't as well, but instead of saying as well, it's two. So I know this sounds confusing, but trust me. The immediate change mindset is something that it, it, it may be difficult to implement, but once you get it, you got it and you don't lose it. And you'll be able to do a lot of things as Matt Ryan, one of my starting quarterbacks on my fantasy team, just fumbled the football. Thank you, Matt Ryan. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I hope this turn. No, it's four. This is in the fourth quarter with five minutes left. 13 14. The Falcons are up, but you know the Falcons. The Falcons are one of the teams that lost to the Cowboys. The Cowboys only have two wins, and the Falcons were one of them. And that shit was heartbreaking, but it is what it is. And yeah, the immediate change mindset. You have to love yourself. And I'm all about self-love, self-care, self-preservation, whatever. And, you know, you have to, you get one life, you get one body. This isn't altered carbon where you can just download your personality to a different body or sleeve or whatever they want to call it. No, this is you. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I've, I've, I've talked to people so many times. So many times where they're like, oh, I wish I could do that. Well, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. But, you know, you know, they'll never, they'll never, they'll never uh, follow me or they'll, they'll never pick me. I'll never be able to do that. I can never move across the country. I can never just up and move. How do you do that? I can do that. How did you learn that? How did you learn that so quickly? And I would tell them, like, look, man. Another episode for this season is going to be how I'm able to learn. How, what's my process of learning something? But I explain to them that if, once I decide to make a change, then a change gets made, especially when it's within me. Like, how, who else controls your body? Are you, is everybody else a puppet? Is somebody your puppet master? What is it called? A, puppet, a puppeteer? Geppetto was a puppeteer, or was he a puppet master? What's the difference? A puppeteer has puppets. A puppet master is a very, 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 very scary movie from the uh, 90s, maybe late early 90s. But um, I wanted to work out more. I wanted to not only work out more, but incorporate a workout into where um, my everyday routine. So it doesn't seem like a workout. It seems like just, I don't know a part of my day. So I make sure I walk about a mile, a mile to work and then a mile back. I take the bus instead of drive. I only drive when I absolutely have to. These are things that, like I have the option of taking an Uber. I have the option of driving my car. Um, or I knew that I was, um, <laughs> the Falcons just lost the lead in the fourth quarter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I knew that I had lost some weight, but I wanted to keep it off. So what do I, What was I going to do? What was I going to do? Was I going to sit back and just, oh, man, I'll never be able to lose this weight. No, I was like, fuck that. I'm going to figure out how to lose it. I'm going to figure out how to keep it off. How do I do that? Well, I don't, I, I made it, I just put down the soda, the sugar. Um, yeah, of course. I'll have some here and there, but if you want to put a percentage on it, if you want to put a number on it, it's it's above 95% reduction, and I had to do that because, you don't. I mean, the sodas in itself, they, they're liquid sugar, and, uh, and, and all of this goes down into what do you want to be? Do you want to live with regret, or do you want to live with a bunch of achievements? Do you want to have the body that you want, or do you want to just sit and mope and complain that 
that weight isn't coming off of you or that you're not getting those the six pack or you're not cut and ripped you know the immediate change mindset is the the spark it is the flame it is the inferno it is the driving force and once you get into that mindset and nothing is really going to stop you um from learning from achieving and you could see all of this in what I've done for the Empire of Caviar, whether it's pie caviar, game caviar, shirt caviar. You look at it from beginning to how it is. You will see progression, 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 progression. Because I wanted to start. I wanted to continue. I wanted to improve. I wanted to be a leader in the whatever category or field or hobby or whatever you want to say these things are. I wanted to be innovative. I wanted to try new things. I wanted to be open to suggestions and understand that um, I don't always have the right answer. So the media change mindset mandates that you make a decision, you stick to it. If you need to change minor things, you change minor things, but the mission, the overall mission is whatever it is, that, that will never change. If I wanted to lose 10 pounds, I lost 10 pounds. If I wanted to, to, to I don't know, tone up some more, I toned up some more. How would I do that? Well, you look at all your options and then you start breaking them down until, until um, more, what, what works for you? A lot of people are like, oh, I need a personal trainer or I need to do some, I need to sign up for this this diet plan or I need to strictly follow this diet plan. A lot of these stupid diets, and we're talking about the the, the body body image. Um damn, my screen went down. We're talking about a lot of body image. Maybe it's my internet. Body image and all this stuff, because everybody wants to be healthy, but a lot of people don't want to do what it takes to become healthy. And these diets of blankets, they're just, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to say they're all a sham, but they're not, they're not always going to work for everyone. You're not always going to have to, you're not, you're not going to follow the Atkins diet hundred percent. You're not going to follow all these other dumb name diets hundred percent. And you shouldn't have to do whatever you want that works for you. I, um, when I'm at work, I make sure I drink water and I make sure I drink black coffee. And that's it, bro. Like, I rarely will ever have anything else. And that's just so that I'm not drinking soda. I'm not eating snacks all damn day. And I'm just, I don't know, man. If I have to do something, I walk to it. I make sure I'm active. I make sure I keep my watch on me now, of course. Because it tells me when to stand up and move around if I've been sitting around too much. And that hurt. And it all helps. It all helps. And it's not going to be. And uh, this is the other thing. Okay, so you bought into the immediate change mindset and now you decided to make an immediate change and you're not seeing results that you want to see when you want to see them. So a lot of people get discouraged and they walk away. Listen, it doesn't matter what you do in life. And I've told people my story many times. I should have a TEDx for this. It's that, look, you have to keep going. When I started Shirt Caviar, I wasn't like selling out every day. No, hell no. No. Because A, is a new company, nobody gave a shit. And that's that's real. I mean, nobody knew who the fuck I was. I wasn't famous. I wasn't a socialite. I wasn't like on the cover of tabloids or on TV every night. No, nobody knew who I was. So what you got to do? You want to build it up from the ground up, build it up from the ground up. And that's what I did at first. I, I, I expanded the brand. I contracted the brand. I, I messed around with sales. I messed around with with. Uh, automation i messed around with um the, the pop-ups that were interactive a little roulette wheel that was pretty popular i have a a um what is it a rewards program these are things that you do not normally see from companies that that are the size of sure caviar these are for the bigger companies and, and, and you don't see a rewards program like that. That's robust to sure caviar. Caviar Prime is what it's called. <laughs> um, you don't you don't see that. You don't you're not gonna see the the smaller companies that reach out to people and like, hey man, this is your if you if you help me out, I'm gonna give you your own promo code. That way you can push yourself and your brand and what you have going on along with mine and we can help each other out. That's why you have, when you go to shirtcaviar.com, it says use code 
OGA at checkout for 10% off. The OGA is for the One Gram Army, the sponsor of this podcast. And if you haven't subscribed to the One Gram Army podcast, what are you waiting for? It is the most, it is available on all widely, um, it's the, it's, I say Pod Caviar is the most widely available podcast in the world, but One Gram Army is right up there with it. And it's available on all major podcast platforms. So subscribe, 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 subscribe to Pod Caviar, subscribe to One Gram Army, the One Gram Army podcast. You have two ears. We have two podcasts. And if you've been a fan of either one of these podcasts, this isn't the first time we've told you to go subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, you need to do so right now, right now. And while you're at it, subscribe to Game Caviar on YouTube. And then go to Shirt Caviar and check out the art. I'm posting art all over the place. Follow me on Twitter at not having it. I'm always posting my art. I'm always telling my story. I'm always showing people um, what what I have going on. I'm also on Candid. It's a new social media platform that's blowing up right now, and a lot of a lot of big name celebrities have signed on to um, to get on there and um, really make it the the next big thing. And I believe in it, and it's dope. So. It's candid, K-A-N-D-I-I-D. I I think that's it. Go to the app store and just type in K-A-N-D, and it should come up. Uh, But yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, it's dope. And that's just, that's part of the immediate change mindset. Back, what was it, 2019, Shirt Caviar had pretty good sales i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna overstate what it was but um i I decided to make a change i invested in um uh not really analytics but like a lot of data showing what needed to happen what i needed to change and it came down to the description the uh the title it came down to the ads what to put on the ads, how to color the ads. Um, people will, what is it? They will respond more to bright colors. So the yellows, the orange, orange is real popular, uh, but the yellow will grab attention like a, like a highlighter, yellow, green, or, you know, th- those colors like that. Those are the ones that will uh, honestly, they will get more attention and they have and there were better graphics there were better designs the way i designed changes changed it was outside of the box it was more expressive it was more vibrant it was more colorful and that has helped it was more almost comical there was just a lot more variation and now when you go on shirtcaviar.com you see front page side page those are what you see and there's a a whole collection of shirts that are available that you don't see and only if you know how to search for them, you will find them. So you got shirts for $20, hoodies for $30, another immediate change mindset because I said, look, I'm tired of having these these variants in prices, so I need to standardize it. $20 here for shirts, $30 for hoodies. That allows me to have sales where you have $15 off orders of $30 or more for front pack shirts, or I could go to Graham and be like, hey, here's your promo code, 10% off order, and I can still make a profit. At the end of the day, this is a business. I'm not screwing anybody over with the price. Of course not. No, I've always been. I've always been a, an advocate of passing savings down to the customer. Really customer friendly. And I said that the last time um, in the last episode, I got that from Amazon because Amazon has really good customer service. The The ultimate goal for Short Caviar is to have a Ben Roethlisberger just through an interception in the end zone. Tennessee has the ball back with two minutes and 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They have one timeout, but they do have the two-minute warning. Pittsburgh has two timeouts in the lead, 27-24. This is a very good game. Both of these teams are 5-0, and oh, okay? So... And this has been a great game from beginning to end. And I think that the ending is going to be just as spectacular. But um, what was I talking about? Yeah, the pricing, the the, the web, the website, the uh, the layout. I know that people like um, almost like light blue. I think that was the color, like some sort of blue mellow mount and makes them. Um, it makes them. Uh, what is it? What is it called? Um, damn. It makes them uh, more eager to buy. So 
those are the things that I had to change in short caviar. And I wish I had took a snapshot of it beforehand and then after the changes that were made. And I'm glad that it's it's where it's at now because we're getting like almost a thousand hits on the website a day. I mean, not a day, a month. I wish it was a day. Oh, my God. If it was a day, I, I would quit my job and just sell shirts 24-7. And then I would be able to live downtown like I was saying, right? I'd be able to live downtown and live by the beach. I mean, that's a lot of fucking money. The thousand people, at least a thousand, but at least a thousand people a month go to shirtcaviar.com. And that's down from, oh, the Falcons got the lead back. Uh, Todd Gurley just ran into the end zone for a touchdown. I don't know if they're going to go for two or one. It's about 104 left in the fourth quarter. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Cleveland and Cincinnati. Cleveland has the lead 31 to 27. Also in the fourth quarter, a minute 55 left. Third and three. The Bengals have the ball. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What are we doing right here? What are we doing right here? Burrow hands it off to their running back. He's going to get the first down, I think. Not the touchdown. They were like in that weird ass thing where you're in the red zone. You're like tw- within the 20 yard lines, but it's not first and goal. So they have to get a first down. And I think they just got it. Football is weird. Matt Ryan is screaming at his people. He's pumped up. Whatever. But um, but yeah, the immediate change mindset, bro. You're just like you have to take that. You have to you owe it to yourself to be the best of yourself. So do whatever it takes to figure out what you need to change and then change it according to your own rules. Each, every person lives in their own universe, bro. We're not all one carbon copy of another. And even if we were, uh, repetition breeds variance. So nobody was ever going to be. Ooh, did they get it? Oh, Calvin Ridley just caught that two-point conversion. That's more points for me because not only have I started Matt Ryan, I started Calvin Ridley. Got him in a trade at the beginning of the season. Traded away Michael Thomas. Got Calvin Ridley. Michael Thomas has not played this season, I don't think. So, I also got a first-round draft pick for next year's draft. That means I have two first-round draft picks. Two first-round draft picks. (laughs) And we keep three keepers. So, I think that even if I tank this season... I'm still set up really good for next season. Kind of like the Dallas Cowboys. They have a stacked offense and a pretty shitty defense. They're two and four, probably going to be two and five. Third string quarterback, your first string quarterback, you hadn't paid him. Then he got hurt. The worst possible situation ever. I mean, you got to do something. And that something is the media change mindset. Make the change right now to subscribe to Pod Caviar, the most widely available podcast in the world. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so right now. Also, while you're in a subscribing mood, subscribe to the One Grand Mommy podcast, available on all major podcast platforms. Yes, including iHeartRadio. I don't know, bro. I don't know. iHeartRadio is like the Hummer dealership from South Park, where it's like open, but like nobody really goes there, and like the. The fucking the salesman always out there like harassing anybody that's remotely close to it. We have to do that because this shit is free, but we're trying to make it so that we can live off of it. That's why Graham has the Patreon. This is why I'm so big on shirt caviar because I'm like, hey man, I it, you know these shirts are dope. You should go check them out. As you don't have to buy, but if you do, it's okay. And the new slogan is "Stop buying and buy." So. What are we going to do with that? Hopefully sell some shirts. Go to shirtcaviar.com. Spend one minute on that website and you will find the next shirt that will stimulate your wardrobe. $20 shirts, $30 hoodies. Use code one gram army. That is O G A for 10% off your order. Shirtcaviar.com. The immediate change mindset has helped me become the man that I am today. And I'm glad that I, and I'm glad that I did that. And some of it comes from the military mindset because we really, we had down days, but then we had days where you have to always be on your toes because changes come immediately. If one plane is supposed to take off, it breaks. Then we got to scramble to get the backup ready. I mean, it happens. Then you got to figure out what's wrong with the first plane. This immediate change mindset is something that has been developed for years, and it has, it has helped me grow and achieve more than I have ever thought that I uh, would achieve in life. So, hmm, there you have it. Make a goal. Make a small goal. One of the smallest goals that I've ever made 
after I watched the video, and I think it was some uh, a retired uh, admiral from the Navy. Uh, he was talking about um, a small change that everybody can make is to simply make your bed every day. And I started doing that uh, every day except for Fridays and the weekends because I tailored it to me. I tailored it to me. Getting up in the morning used to be one of the hardest things that I ever had to do in my life because of you know, depression, anxiety, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. I'm not a, I'm not really silent about the, those conditions, disabilities, whatever you want to call them, but that's what I have to live with. But motivating myself to get out of bed so I could make my bed so I, I can hold myself accountable because I made the immediate change in my mind to do so after seeing the recommendation on the internet from a video that was a motivational speech from a retired Navy Admiral. So this is how it just broke down into it. And I'll get up, make my bed. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it doesn't have to look like shit. It has to be made. You put the effort into doing it and it's not hard to make a bed Getting out of bed was way harder than making it, but I stuck to that, and it became a way of my life. So now when I get out of bed, make it. If it's Friday, don't make it. Don't even worry about it. If it's the weekend, don't worry about it. It's small changes like that that snowball into bigger changes, and then all of a sudden you're moving to L.A. in your, in your dream city, and you have a nice career because you decided to make small, immediate changes you believed in yourself, you stuck to the plan, and it snowballed into bigger and bigger achievements. I'm not going to bullshit you. I bullshit a lot, but I shit you not. When I tell you the immediate change mindset, it's something that everybody can do and start with small changes and then let those changes grow. Everybody is a damn caterpillar. Buy into this immediate change mindset and each small change will make your cocoon bigger and bigger. And then the person that you become is the beautiful butterfly that you deserve to be. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we are at 32 minutes, and I'm going to wrap it up right there. Hey, subscribe to Pod Caviar. Subscribe to the One Grand Mommy Podcast. Subscribe to Game Caviar. Go to shirtcaviar.com. Look at the... Uh, Look at the sound like I was on auto tune right there. Go to shirtcaviar.com. Go there, spend one minute there, and you will find the next shirt that will stimulate your wardrobe. Even if you don't buy, appreciate the art. All I'm asking you to do is stop by. Stop by. And if you love it that much, buy, buy, buy. Always be closing. Hmm? Hmm? Maybe that could be another episode for this season. This has been a great start to a season of self care. Self-motivation, amazing season. So we're going to have some fun. I'm going to drop some knowledge. I'm going to give you some tidbits. I'm going to tell you what I did to get where I'm at. You don't have to follow it. But, I, I mean, just listen and tailor it to your life and yourself and see where it takes you and let me know. But, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I got to render this. I'm going to stream. Wow. I'm going to stream later on uh, YouTube, so go to YouTube.com um, slash not having it, find Game Caviar, and then subscribe, and then hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I go live. You can also follow me on Twitter at not having it. I'm always on there, and um, I'm always posting art and just being silly and interacting. So, um, yeah, I will see you on next episode. I'm Tony. This has been Pod Caviar. And I'm out.